A View to a Kill. Um, we wrote for the James Bond film of the same name. It was a collaboration, actually, with John Barry. I had met Cubby Broccoli at a party in London and said, hey, when are you going to have a decent theme song again? And he said, well, why don't you guys do it? It's quite a deep production, this song. On top of the rhythm section of Roger, Andy and myself, there's an awful lot of keyboard programming, really dynamic stuff like this. Mm, kill it. On this performance, we are being enhanced by shots of Liz Hurley's legs in delicious black stockings, which young Mr. Rhodes made, actually. Yeah, Nick got hold of Liz Hurley, must have been about 10 years ago, I guess, and asked her if he could film her legs for the wedding album tour. So we dusted it off and put it in with this production. We recorded it in Maison Rouge Studios in West London. Under siege at the time, I mean, this was right at the peak of Duran fan mania. And uh, we'd done Wild Boys in the same room. The drum room was stone. So it was a very popular room to record drums in. The producer on this song was Bernard Edwards, who we hadn't worked with as a band before. We'd been working with Niall Rogers, and Niall wasn't available, so Bernard stepped in. It all got put together in New York at the power station, Jason Cassaro engineering. A very, very deep mix. One regret I have is I refused to make a 12-inch dance mix, but... Uh, Whatever. The song was a worldwide number one, and I think it was number one the week we played at Live Aid. So we had an advantage over a lot of the other bands that were playing that day, that we were number one in America. It was great to play it with Roger and Andy because we'd never played it with the original lineup live, other than Live Aid, which wasn't the best of shows for the five of us. We were very disjointed at that time. You know, it's one of the things about the band getting back together after so much time apart is that we can play a song like this one, which even though we wrote and recorded it so many years ago, still has a lot of freshness to it. It was fun to be part of the James Bond franchise. It was a funky collection of 80s icons that were a part of it. Grace Jones was in the film, Christopher Walken was in the film. A lot of it was filmed in San Francisco. View to a Kill was the last song that the five of us wrote and recorded together, so it was a great place to pick up for this tour. Now we, uh, we spent the last two years writing a whole bunch of new songs and recording them for you. While we were writing the whole thing, kicked off in Iraq with the bombs being dropped and everything and it made us feel really as though it didn't really matter what we thought, it was just going to go on anyway. And that's a pretty sad state of affairs, so I think we felt that we needed to give people hope that we do count and what we believe in is something good and important and, um, and if we be start believing in a world that can be a better place then that's the first step to making it that way. And the song just says the rest of it. This is what happens tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>